Hey, this is Travis from Afternoons with Travis, and every week I get a chance to sit down with Bob Walaszewski. He's part of Focus on the Family's Plugged In Movie Review, and we get to talk about movies that are coming up this weekend that are opening in wide release. And if you're wondering why that matters, uh, I think especially if we have kids, we can find ourselves walking into a movie theater thinking a movie is completely safe or completely clean for our kids, and then get ourselves in a position where we're sitting there halfway through thinking, I should have never taken my kids to this and wishing you could walk out, but being nervous or afraid or whatever to do that. Even if you don't have kids, I think sometimes we do that. We realize, maybe I should have looked more into this movie before I went, you know, because it's it's kind of, it's showing me things or it's, it's displaying things and behaviors that aren't really what I agree with. So that's why I love being able to do this. Now, you can see uh, this conversation that I'm about to have with Bob about this weekend's movies and check out other movies that I've, we've talked about in the past in the video channel that you should actually see on KTSY's channel at YouTube.com. If you're on Facebook, for example, right now, you can go to YouTube.com. Check out our channel. It's called 895 KTSY. There you can see my reviews with Bob for the last almost year now. And uh, maybe you think about renting a movie on DVD. Thanks for being a part of the family. Thanks for watching this video. And listen, if you're on Facebook, I'd love to get to know you better. You can search me, Afternoons with Travis, at Facebook.com. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm amused by the title. <laughs> I have to tell you, I'm not sure if it's family friendly, but the title's amusing. Think Like a Man. I guess it opened last weekend, did pretty well. Here's it in a nutshell. Essentially, it deals with about a half dozen guys and the women in their lives. Uh, and the women in their lives get a hold of a book by comedian, author, TV host, Steve Harvey, who kind of says, it's it, he's giving these women how do men think and a lot of what he says men think about is the physical aspects yeah. of relationship and for him for instance he he uh, has something he calls the 90 day rule which you can imagine what that is and i always wonder why not a wait till i have a wedding ring on my finger rule believe me there's nobody in this movie who thinks that's even humanly possible much less something that ought to be discussed or practiced or whatever yeah. then add to the mix that there's enough Jesus talk thrown in this film and enough I'm a Christian talk before I go do something wrong mm -hmm. talk that it makes the cast look like a bunch of hypocrites. But again, not that anybody in this film seems to care that we serve a holy God who thinks sin is a big, big deal. Right. Um, this was a pretty, can I use the word nasty film? It, sure. it, in me, if it was just dialogue that should bring a film to an R rating, mm -hmm. this one would definitely get it there. Very out of bounds, very disappointing that it was number one film in the nation. Hardly a film that I could recommend. Wow. Well, it's good to know because, you know, you, you see those things, you're like, yeah, oh, that looks like that looks like that would be hilarious. And then you go to it. Well, the like, premise oh. could have been. It could have been. I mean, you know, a bunch of guys with girls having relationship problems. That's life. Yeah, you that's know? life make right it there, fun, man. <laughs> keep it clean. Make it make it that that uh, that that there's just the run of the mill type things that yeah couples deal with yeah. could have been hilarious yeah. and and I'm and to be honest with you there is a couple funny moments in the film this is not a total dog but overall is it worth it <laughs> I don't think so and next week we'll be talking about the Avengers which I saw last night and I will not tip my hand and tell you what I'm thinking oh you're killing me all right <laughs>